check out my latest anime music video with Masamune Kun no Revenge with the song You Suck at Love by Simple Plan. Check it out by clicking that featured video at a minute and 30 second mark or towards the end of the video, click that end screen annotation and have a nice day. Hey, Blondie, you got a staring problem? Huh? Heh. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You eyeballing me, punk? I'm not eyeballing anyone. If anyone's got a problem here, it's you. <sighs> Let's get away from this loser, Tachibana. Hey, 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 Yamato! Ho oh, ho, I'm gonna remember this. And you're gonna wish I didn't. Ugh, what was that dude's problem? Well, I mean, you did have a pretty unpleasant look on your face. Come off it, man. There they are, Aniki. The punks that were giving me the stink eye. Oh, give me a break. Isn't that the dude from before? Uh, it looks like he brought a larger, scarier buddy. <laughs> Yo, Tachibana. Get us someplace without too many people. Sounds like you've got a plan. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick their asses, that's what. Look at us. A pair of guys getting into trouble on the cold, lonely streets. You seem like you're enjoying this highly unenjoyable situation. <laughs> As if. Just hurry up and get us somewhere that isn't here, okay? If we don't want to throw down in front of a crowd, our best bet would probably be Junk Street. Shall we? Bro! They're getting away! This place sparse enough? No. If we were to fight here, there's still a chance an Akihabara citizen could get caught in the crossfire. Oh, and we're not Akihabara citizens? Yamato, I'm not exactly sure you grasp the general badness of this situation. I refuse to let innocent people suffer the fallout of our actions. I couldn't live with myself if someone got hurt. And he's in his own world. Swell. Okay, hero. If this is too crowded, let's get moving. Those guys are coming and they look angry. Let's slip onto the side streets. So how about it? Can these be the side streets of rage? I'm afraid not. There's still too much risk of collateral damage here. We need someplace safer. How are you having so much fun? You realize we're not characters in some manga or anything, right? How much more plainly can I put this? Those guys are trying to kick our asses. And they may very well succeed. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. We wouldn't even be in this mess if your dirty look hadn't set them off in the first place. This is on you, man. It'll be fine if you hurry up and get us someplace without any people. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Maybe there'll be a lull somewhere around UBX. How's this strike your fancy? Relatively few people, wide open space. Yeah, I don't see this place posing us any problems. Plus, there's a police box close by. What was that? I didn't say anything. We finally caught up with ya. 
So, you're the punks who've been staring down my sweet little bud. Oh, nope, nope, not me. No nasty looks here. It was all that guy. Him and him alone. What the hell, Tachibana? I mean, it is the truth. <sighs> Fine. I don't need you anyway. Hey, assholes! I'm gonna make you regret that you ever caught up with me. What? We wouldn't be doing this if you hadn't been scowling at me in the first place. You Yakuza kid. Do I look like Yakuza? Well, just in case you are, we brought a couple of pals. Sorry to keep you waiting, bub. This the brat with the snake eyes? I'll take all you losers on. Come at me! Yamato, quit pretending you're tough and let's get the hell out of here! What are you talking about? You are going to be crawling out of here, you dig? Ah, they're multiplying! <sighs> We're outnumbered. I was trying to tell you that two miscreants ago. This is going to get messy by default. No way of knowing until we try. You twerps got a death wish? Uh, Yamato? What's he doing? Man, are you dense. He's clearly coming at us with a butterfly knife. I meant, why is he coming at us with a butterfly knife? You know what? Screw it. Let's just run! Oh, you think we're gonna let you run now? After all that big talk? Mistakes were made? Permit me to take the mantle from this ever-derailing iron beast. You! Long have I watched you, composer. Are you here to save us? Ye shouldst flee this place. Sounds like a plan to me. Come on, Yamato, let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here. But I... Shut up and move. Just head for the station. We'll lose them in the crowd. Now doth ye desire trial by combat, or doth ye concede? Oh, you want to go now too? We're down to throw. Let's go, yo, macho! <sighs> ye be fools, every last soul. Headed into the delusion scape? I will uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. I think we're safe now. Also, I'm sorry. I didn't exactly help with the situation back there. Eh, <sighs> takes more than a little knife to scare me. Speaking of, do you think that guy's okay? I mean, the mob leader dude was pretty pissed and had an actual weapon. Though I guess your boy does have that crazy... X thing, so he's probably fine. Plus, he's got some kind of demonic eye hidden under those bangs, so it's the gangsters who might be in trouble. With bangs that long, he probably can't see a thing. Wait a minute. That's gotta be it. What's gotta be what? Bad eyesight. Yamato, can you read the letters on that sign over there? No. I knew it. Your eyes are bad, aren't they? That's why you gave that guy the showdown at high noon squint. <laughs> Too many late nights watching anime in the dark? Pretty much. I'm not about to turn the lights on when my brother and sister are sleeping. Hold on. Did you just not deny that you watch anime? I'd say that ship has sailed. She got that right. But you also just totally confirmed my sweet big brother theory. Quit while you're ahead, please. Are they still watching the house for you, even now? Yeah, they are. Don't you guys have any parents? No, we do. It's just that they're pretty much always busy with work. They get home real late, so it sort of fell on me to take care of the duo. It's actually why I never moved on from my anime watching days like most people do. What do you mean? Well, I go to school during the day, deal with clubs after school, then go home and make dinner for the kids. I was always super late by the time I could relax. And that was the slippery slope that pulled me back in. I just turn on the TV to unwind, and what did I see? But boys and girls saving the world. None of the shows were anything special, but for me, the mere act of watching anime was like a long-awaited reunion. A reunion? Yeah. Between two me's. The hard-working big brother, and the kid who used to get lost in his love for all this stuff. But once I was rehooked, I was hooked hard. Rented all the classics from all the greats, everything worth seeing. 
I've never had anyone to talk about them with, though. I can't bear to tell my friends that I like anime and stuff. You can't? Hell no. Not if I don't want to be laughed at and ostracized. Otaku are criminals in training, remember? You know, I think I kind of understand you, Yamato. <laughs> Took you long enough. I hid my interests from everyone, but no point in keeping them secret any longer. I just want to talk about the stuff I like. Anime, manga, trading cards, all of it. After all, my interests are a part of me. They're the light that keeps me going. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm just glad I had someone to teach me that very important lesson. Oh, no kidding. Who was that? My money's on a Kemi. Yeah, gotta be a Kemi. Maybe you're better off not knowing. Huh? Anyway, let's get out of here, Tachibana. We got places to go and things to do. Hey, 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 hold up! Yamato! And thus, the time of awakening draws on apace.